Something going on here I should know about? Felicia. Thorman, I would like to talk to Dad. So go ahead and talk. Alone, Felicia. Now, wait a minute. Well, sweetheart, why don't you wait for me in my office? You know, I happen to be a member of this family, too. All right, I'll leave. But I want to talk to the both of you after this. What's this all about? It's about you. And Brooke. And a pregnancy. That's what it's about, Dad. How did you find out? No, the question here is, how did it happen? What's the difference? It happened. Now I want to know who's been told about this. Are you afraid Mother might have gotten word? Is that it? Has she? No, Dad, not yet. Not that we know of. And she isn't going to be told, is that clear? Unless Brooke hasn't told her already. Brooke. Mother was on her way to see her when she left the house earlier. Thank God. Dad, how could you let this happen? Oh, Ridge, you have to know there's more to all this. So why don't you explain it to us? There isn't time right now. I'm going to get to Brooke. No! Forget Brooke, Dad. What about us? Your family? I have fallen in love. Now, you're both grown men. You can understand how that might happen. In love or in lust? Brooke is a very attractive woman, Dad. Thorne, I'm going to regard that as a comment made by a son who is not thinking before he speaks. But I never want to hear you say that to me again. Now, I love Brooke, and she and I are going to be married. And Mother knows nothing about it. No, and she won't, not until after the divorce. How convenient. Nora, you listen to me. You both listen to me. If you have any thoughts of telling your mother about this, you think again. You will start a war in this family. None of us needs that. Now, Rich, you're married. Thorne, you're dating someone, and I am in love with Brooke. I want no interference from either one of you. In fact, I expect your cooperation. Family power? I was just leaving. Yes, I see. Is there something, um, something we can do for you? No, did you have something special in mind? Mother, where were you? Oh, have you been trying to get a hold of me? No, we were worried about you. You should be worried about me. Felicia said you went over to see Brooke. Oh. Yes. I did. Well, there's some place I have to be. Well, please don't stay on my account, Eric. something, didn't I? Mother, why'd you go over there? To see Brooke? Didn't Felicia tell you? She said that you had something to resolve. Yes, and it's all resolved. What did you talk about? This and that. Brooke was her usual defensive self. Although, strangely enough, I detected a glean of guilt in her eye, which I'm surprised at because I didn't know she had a conscience. Let's not talk about Brooke. What was going on here with you and your father when I came in? Oh, I see. You don't want me to know what it's about. Well, then that means it has something to do with the divorce. Yes.
Are you going to tell me? Excuse me, but Reg, Thorne, your two o'clock appointment is here. Thanks, Chrissy. Something went on in here, and you're going to tell me what it was. 